Vampire Nest is a spawn located far north, deep into Forgula frozen lands beyond the wall. The man that takes you in and out is Sven. He's a ferry owner from Northport and he's working for Kalin faction. It's his queen, Elois, that decides whether you can or cannot travel to the deep north. In order to get to the vampire nest, the hero have to reach and cross the wall. Forgula at the first encounter might seem pretty complicated to navigate around, and to be fair, it's justified statement. Although after a few routes in and out, you should memorize it quite good. The worth to note monsters that you are very likely to encounter on your way are following Gargoly, Stone Golems, Water Blooks, Rotworms, Crystal Beast, and possibly Snow Revengers. The standout item the hero cannot forget to take with his equipment is Pick. Support item that comes in handy, especially for less experienced players, is Stealth Ring, mainly to avoid Crystal Beast. Also a few boxes, parcels or levitate spell is necessary. Crossing the wall is simple, in order to do that you have to open the gate. There are two massive bars to deal with. The lever to open the first one is located to the left, inside the wall. The other one is to the right, but in order to reach it, the hero have to climb up the eastern mountain. Bars won't stay open forever. Pulling first lever sets the timer up, and after a few minutes the gates will shut down again. After going through the wall, the way is pretty straightforward. Head north, pick the cracked ice which is hidden under the derbies, and follow the underground path. Few more steps to the northwest, and the destination is reached. The whole cave is home to 21 vampires, 14 of them on the main floor, 5 in the coffin room, and 2 more in the passage below. Hero have to be aware of the restless beholder living below, which is marked with a red circle. Except that one beastly creature, you won't meet anything else than 21 vampires. No mummies, no skeletons, no ghouls, no crypt shamblers. Vampire nest it is, and vampires you will meet. Depending on hero experience, wealth, skills and preferences, there are multiple ways to hunt down the vampires. Vampire nest favors the one by one hunting way, which for hero can use his melee weapon, heavy magic missile runes, or distance weapons such as bow or crossbow. These rocks right here, marked with a blue circle, are good to run around, with a bloody thirsty vampire chasing through your neck. If the vampires gave you more than your arms can carry, a brave postman company set up a royal post box close by. The way is marked with a blue line. The red line path might be useful if the hero's luck is on his side and he survives the encounter. He can leave the area with a one-way tunnel below the wall's second gate to the east. After opening up, it's possible to encounter Ice Elemental. Even though he's a fragile creature, his frozen torch can hurt you pretty bad. From here, Hero should know the way home. <laughs> 